What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? You know who it is. It's Mr. S. Dot Warmack back in the building. Right now, I'm kind of doing two things at once right now. I'm doing a video right now. I'm kind of Skyping right now on the with a couple people or Google Plus chat whatever you want to call it so but I, there's a pause in the thing where we down for a minute like I said get at me on Google Plus Skype send your Skype information to me my Skype is out of focus the same thing as my Twitter nickname go to my Twitter go to my you know Google Plus go to my Instagram go to the Twitter and Instagram and link up like I said and uh, to answer the question, yes, I'm back in the gym. As you can see, I'm trying to, I'm doing my little weight deal. I'm looking to sell one of my facial features, you know, it's slimming down. Uh, my goal was to try to get to 275, and let me say this. I don't put a goal on how much weight I want to lose or get to. That's just the, that's just the, like, a point to, like, when I was, like, the best shape that I was in as far as for my size. It was like when I was hovering around the 275, like I couldn't have been anywhere from 270 to 280. And I was good at that way. Like I said, I was, up, I was in the gym, I was doing the, I was doing the bodybuilding routine. I was doing all night. But yes, I'm getting back to business. I'm not at 275, but like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm closer to 275. It was like, give me about a month or two. I'm back in business, but like I said, I'm doing the gym routine. People want me to like do a video on my routine because they're wondering, ah, I lost all this weight and kept it off. Like I said, for me, it's, it's a matter of I've been lifting for 20 years. It's a matter of muscle maturity and uh, you know your routine. Always check with a doctor first before you lift. But today, I want to talk about a video about um, the Israel, Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Now, as you guys know by now, Israel and, and the, the Palestinians over there in Gaza are going at it. They're going, there's their bombing, you know, tunnels, and they're hitting sites, and, and Israel has allegedly hit a, a civilian target. And, and the media is making a big deal about it. You know this. But what gets me is Hamas does it, it's not a big deal. But that's beside the point. The point is, is we get involved as Americans, and the Western world gets involved supporting Israel, and everybody's going to support, like, Russia's or Iran's, whatever's going to support Hamas. But my thing is, here's what people understand, and I said this in many videos before, these people in the Middle East, this goes back to the Biblicals, let's go back to the Quran, let's go back to the Torah, this stuff's been happening for centuries, so the dawn of time, these people have not got along. And all we're doing is making it worse. When you stick America, anytime you stick America in any foreign policy other than our own, it's going to be a problem. And then you had the Russians who, I hate to say this, they're not as good built as they used to be. Now they're just nitpicking. They're like they're like poking people. They're, the Russians are only go so far because they know they don't have it like they used to have. That's why they're building all these alliances. What gets me is we get in there, we support Israel, then we brought them. We're like, well, we support Israel. We have the, we have the Palestinians, Palestinians, excuse me, to come to the table. But Palestinians don't trust us. Then the Russia wants Israelis to come to the table. The Israelis don't trust the Russians, and rightfully so. Don't forget, there's a lot of there's a lot of there was a mass migration back in the day. The Soviet Union wasn't cool with Jewish people. <coughs> excuse me, they were not cool with Jewish people. So. There was, a, there was a mass defection to Israel. I was around 10, 11, 12. A lot of you might remember this. And if you don't remember, it happened in, like in the 80s, in the early 80s. I was like 10 in 1980, so I had that up. This is like the 80s, like up to like the Reagan era, the Reagan years, where there's a mass, you know, like where the USA got on Russia to let the Jewish people, the Soviet Union, to go to, go to Israel. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, you know, they don't trust Russia like that. But what I'm trying to say is, everybody keeps asking me, you think Israel has the right to do this? You think the Palestinians have the right to do this? And me, I hate to say this, it's, it's, it's kind of like an America. It's kind of like America. This was Native American land. This was not. This was not my land. This was not people who 
European land, this wasn't white people land, this wasn't black Puerto Rican land, this was an Asian land. This was technically the North, the North, you know, the Native American land. So, how can we as Americans tell Israel something? When I mean, I know, I know, I'm like, I know. If, if, if the only reason where you should be aligned with Israel, if that's your, if Christianity is your religion, I can see you aligned with Israel. I can see you say, hey, the Israelis are my people. But but you people understand, a lot of Israelis are not they're only Israelis by ethnic. They're not they're not Jewish by you know religion. They're just they're not practicing Jewish. They're, just, they're Jewish by like because that's what they are in Israel. You know what I mean? But I can see both sides of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Like I, it was Palestine was Palestine until the UN, which is a worthless organization, FYI, until the, the UN and then the powers that be drew a 67 border. They want to go back to the 67 borders. But Palestine was Palestine. So you, you as a people say that's like that's like that's like Texas when they try they try to leave. That's like Texas trying to leave America. Which will never happen. Say say we say say we say something. Say say a bunch of states. It's probably like whatever. How do you say? Because kind of kind of rough. Because we haven't seen this over here. We haven't seen this since the Civil War, stuff like that. Since we annexed, maybe we annexed uh, Alaska from Russia. I don't know. But imagine if you're the Palestinians. That was your home for how long? Then all of a sudden. It gets uprooted, and then you're then you're displaced like the Jordan. And this has happened. Like my, this is facts. This isn't something I'm making up. You're displaced to Jordan. You're displaced to uh, maybe Egypt. You're displaced to places like Lebanon. And some of these places don't really want you because you're ethnic Palestinian. And by FYI, for all you little uh, Esau reference folks, the Palestinians are the true descendants of Esau. All that other stuff you're talking is not true. If you look up the if you cross reference everything in the Quran, the Torah, and the Bible, if you cross reference all the places that all this is mentioned, the Palestinians are the true descendants of Esau. Not what you want to believe. Don't let the, the liberal, the white liberals, fool you about this. The Esau's peoples are the Palestinians. But back to the lecture hand. Like people are asking, well, what do you think about it? And I'm like, well, I can see an Israeli's point of view. That like if, if their religion and then like it says it's in the Bible, that's this is Jacob, you know, this is their chosen land. This is the land that God promised you. Now I don't want to get on you atheists all atheists, I'm I don't even want to entertain you. I'm talking to people that really believe this. And like if if, if you're a descendant of like Christianity or like a descendant of Israel, you have to this is your religion. And this is what they believe, so I can see, hey, this is our land. God promises to us, and we're going to keep it. But at the same time, if you're a Palestinian, it's like, this has been my land for decades. It's kind of like, the, like I said, it's kind of like the Native Americans. This has been Native American land, America, for decades, for centuries. All of a sudden, look what happened. Is, you're hard-pressed to find a couple of you. Look, here's how bad it is. You're hard-pressed to find more than 10 Native Americans. And now, I'm being generous with, say, 10. Say 10. And more like four or five. And when I say Native Americans, I don't mean a white guy or black guy or woman or you know women, men and women who claim to have it running their blood. You know how it goes. Oh, uh, you got a pretty long blonde hair. Oh, I'm, I got Native American. Or you got a pretty nice shiny black hair. Well, my grandmother, twice removed, was. You know what I mean? I, don't, I mean, I mean like the actual 100 percent that they get this money from the casino, which by the way is great. That they get the casino, like like because like I said. I got Native American blood in me. I know that for a fact. But it ain't like I can claim any casino money. You know, they'd be like, fuck out of here. Now, if I was a, if I was a net big name, they'd be like, hey, you can claim it. But back to what I'm talking about. It's like the Native Americans. I look at the Palestinians as the Native Americans. Uh, I look at them. This was their land. And, uh, and, and, and like I said, in one, one, in one vein, we're being hypocritical by saying, well, it's Israel's land. It was given to them. But at the same time, you know, we have our own mess here. So that's why, to me, I can see both sides of the conflict. That's why I don't want strictly hardline for the Israelis, not strictly hardline for the Palestinians. Now, I'm only strictly hardline for the people of the situations. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm for like, like you know, for the innocent people that go through this day by day because that's the people who are really affected. 
not the military leaders because they're used to doing this. Not the bad guys fighting the battles and the tunnels because they're used to doing this. This sort of people at the hospitals or the kids. Cause I see some gruesome fucking pictures on Facebook. I mean, on Facebook, by the way. I see some gruesome pictures of little kids with their heads blown off. Like I said, people send me stuff. And you can say, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll send the link to my email. And you can say, if you want if, if you want to send me stuff, I talk about it. I'll send you the link. But like I said, people send me this stuff. And I read it, and it is, this is what affects me. Because like I said, I see kids that are my kids' age. And, you know, it could be for the, for the grace of Allah, God, or Yeshua, whoever you chose to believe in. Or Buddha, that could be my kids. That could, situation could be me. But people say, well, like I said, like in America here, they want you to come hard line for Israel. Which, like I said, if you're a Christian, I commend you for doing that because you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to stand side by side with Israel. But what if you're a Muslim, you have to stand by the Palestinians. But then that's, and this is what the divide is because, well, well, America is a predominantly, you know, Christian nation. It's, it's a Christian-based nation, number one, so it's majority Christian-based. So that's why I can see America siding overall with Israel, because it's Christian-based. But don't do it if, like, don't side with them just because, like, it's the hot thing to ride on. That's why me personally never goes, oh, you're taking the easy way out. No, I'm not taking the easy way out. I can see both points of view. It's like it's like in your city. Here's another point. Here's, here's another way to put it. It's like in your city declares an eminent domain on some properties. They, they do this now. They look, look up in that domain if you don't believe me. 